Hello guys, welcome to, oh the first day I had to look, Vlogmas Day 11. So it is almost 9 o'clock now. I haven't vlogged all day. I was, you know, working. And then I came home and ate some, what did I eat? Oh yeah, I ate some of the leftover dip. Today was kind of the last day that it was good to eat. So I had some of that for my supper, had a real girl dinner, but it's filling at least. Like I feel quite satiated. So anyway, at least I got to enjoy some of it. Now I think we're finally gonna start Christmas decorating. I have been not purposefully procrastinating this or pushing it off, but like I've just been so tired and I finally feel like I have enough energy to do at least some of it. I do need to do some laundry as well. That doesn't take as much. Like I can do the decorating while I'm waiting for the laundry to be changed over. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, that is what is in store for the rest of my evening. <laughs> Christmas tree is up, it is plugged in. It's looking a little rough right now, but that is okay, we will fix it later. And my battery is officially drained, but I'm glad I at least got my tree assembled. That's a win. Anyway guys, I will see you tomorrow. Hello guys, welcome to Vlogmas day 10. No, 12. <laughs> 12, I'll be okay. It's 6.30, I am home from work now. Had a very busy but productive day, so that was great. Now, what I'm gonna be doing this evening is putting together some cookies for my coworkers that I'm seeing tomorrow night, as well as some Christmas games for us to play. Uh, very excited about that. I have all the stuff already, but I just need to like organize it, finish off the cookies, frost my linsers with icing sugar, put the jam in the middle, that kind of stuff. So that's what we are doing this evening. Sorry the TV's on in the background, but it's a little after 10.20 right now. We just got the last cookies out of the oven. So excited. I was gonna do one more cookie, but I'm just out of time and energy, honestly. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish the ones I have and then, great. Uh, I, I still have plenty. There are one, two, three, four, there's five different cookies, so I think that's enough. <laughs> so we're gonna finish cooling the ones that just came out of the oven, finish our linsers, we're gonna get the icing sugar on and the jam layer in the middle, and then we are going to bed. So I will see you guys at some point tomorrow.
Hello guys, welcome to Vlogmas day 15. So what time is it? It's 10 after 3 in the afternoon. I am officially on Christmas holidays. I'm about to get ready for my work Christmas party. So I figured I would film a little get ready with me for today. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to quickly blow dry my hair and then I'll come back to you. I'm going to get this up in a clip and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my makeup. I don't have to be there for another two hours but I gotta leave here in time to be driven down there. I'm there early for setup. Doors open at 6.30, our dinner starts at seven. Me and the committee have been planning this party like since August, so it's like everything's happening today and I'm thankfully more excited than nervous, but there's always a few fires to put out. So we'll see what happens this year. I'm sure it'll be fun. So this year we, instead of bringing in like external entertainment, we're doing like in-house karaoke with our DJ, which is kind of fun. And then we have prizes we give out. People can win extra drink tickets. It's, it's usually a good time. And this year we're doing a buffet instead of like individual plated meals for everyone. So Fingers crossed there's A, enough food, and B, that it, it just goes well and people like it. So that's kind of the rundown of what I'm busy with tonight. But uh, yeah, it's a little early, but we gotta be there early, so we're getting ready early. Like my previous get ready with me, I'm gonna start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer and the Carpe Sweat Absorbing Face Lotion. Get layers of those on. I was about to go in and start doing my normal face routine first, but where I'm doing actual eyeshadow today, I am gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna put my favorite eyeshadow primer on there. This is the NARS eyeshadow primer. All this stuff will be linked down below, by the way. Okay, now I gotta figure out what I'm doing for eyeshadow. I pulled two palettes and then a liquid glitter shadow. So I pulled the Lorac Pro palette, which is one of my favorites, and another one of my favorites is Stila Eyes Are the Window Shadow palette in this variety. I think it's called Spirit. I've had this for so long, both of them for a long time actually, and I also pulled this guy, the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow. I can't remember the exact name of this product. Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma, which is like a glittery, champagne-y, silver-toned, liquid shadow. So probably put that on the center of the lid. Um, first, we're gonna start with our crease and get that built up. And all my brushes here, which don't get used as often anymore. So it feels like old times. <laughs> crease is on and it's funny I was literally just thinking to myself oh it looks crazy right now but don't worry we'll fix it who remembers every youtuber saying that ever while doing a tutorial <laughs> I don't apply eyeshadow much like this anymore but it used to be like an every weekend kind of thing uh, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and clean up the edges a bit with some micellar water and then we'll work on my lids all right we cleaned up the edges made a little cat eye effect do I want to go all in with like the liquid glitter? I feel like I kind of have to, right? I think I'll do like a deeper taupey color as the base and then layer this glitter piece on top. All right, I'm just going to scoot out to my bathroom real quick to apply this just so I can get a little bit closer to the mirror and have better lighting. All right, I think that went on pretty well. It's a little bit of a darker eyeshadow look that I'm used to doing, but I'm not mad about it. I actually really like it. We're gonna move on to the face. So let me just zoom you through this real quick so I can put on some music.
right now it is time to start the curls. Well, I need to turn on the curling wand first, that would help. I'm trying to decide if I keep my part at the side or if I do a half part and just curl it like on both sides. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think I might do the middle part then have like even curls on both sides. Alright you guys, tights and dress are on. Can you see the full dress? <laughs> it's navy sequins with a like scoop haltery type of top. I got it from bloomchic.com back in like, I think it was August, which is the most type A thing ever, but it's true. I saw it and I was like, yeah, that looks like something that could work for my Christmas party. So I went ahead and ordered it and I loved it. So. Here we are. <laughs> Saved me a lot of stress for the past couple weeks because I had enough on my plate. <laughs> now I need to pick some jewelry and some shoes and a lipstick color. Two I'm going between are Max Brave and Max Captive. They're both satin, so they're not like super matte or anything because we are over the mat personally. And we've got a combination of silver and gold jewelry to decide between. One of the pairs of earrings, which I showed you in, I think it was the very first Vlogmas video that I got from Torrid, is a mixture of silver and gold snowflakes, which I think could look very nice. So let's see what this looks like together. Okay, very festive, love it. There's also these, which I bought a couple of years ago for a like black tie charity event that I went to it's called the Monte Carlo Gala. I don't know if anyone in the area is familiar with it. So there's also these, which actually look pretty nice with it. <laughs> and then there's the pair that I've worn the past two years. These are from Icing by Claire's. They're just like a silver rhinestone cascade. I do really like these though. They seem to be the vibe. So there's the silver and there's the gold with pearl. So, uh, I do not know. My gut is telling me these gold ones with the pearls. So those are the ones I am wearing. And that means my jewelry is gold based. So I'm gonna throw on some gold bracelets. See how that looks, yes. Okay, we like that. A little gold bead and chunky rhinestone moment. Or do I want to do slightly thinner rhinestone? It is a little looser, it's more comfortable. And I like never get to wear this bracelet though, so I feel like I should wear it. Okay, yeah, let's do the two rhinestone with the earring, seeing as we're going all out. <laughs> I feel like because my jewelry is gold, I don't know if I can do the silver heel with it. I might just do black. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do black. Oh, also you guys, I'm wearing a new pair of black tights. Um, that I recently ordered in from Sheertex. They're the brand that, I don't know if you've seen ads for them, but they're supposed to be like super indestructible, like super durable tights. So I will keep you updated on if they make it through the night. <laughs> 